Hey gang, it's your pal Rob again, and I'm in Colorado for another couple days finishing up a commission piece and cat sitting. I'm not really sure if she's happy to be outside or if I broke the cat. Today's painting was quite a project, being a diptych that's large in size and being a piece that involves further abstraction while still exploring the ideas of quantum entanglement. I sincerely hope you're enjoying these time lapses, and if you do, please like, comment, sub, and whatever. You can further support my work by going to robsmentalplayground.com or by visiting my Patreon at patreon.com slash robsmentalplayground. It's also Rob's Mental Playground for all the social medias. I've received quite a bit of positive feedback about this piece, so I'm very excited to share it with you. I've got my homemade squeegees ready to rock, so let's get to painting. Come on. I begin this piece by making some measurements and drawing some initial lines for future masking. This is a geometrically driven piece, so there will be quite a bit of sectional masking involved. After the initial measuring, I whip out the tape and get to it. I then supplement this with some cardboard and paper to protect certain areas of the piece. Then it's time to lay down some initial color and develop a sort of sky section. I use a variety of methods to move the paint here, using my breath, a spray bottle, and even paper towels to help me out. I then repeat this process for the other reversed half of the diptych, and in time, you'll see how each half mirrors each other. I make sure not to go too dark in the early stages of this piece. I can always darken the hues later. I switch back to the warmer sky and continue to layer paint, creating some contrast from darker to lighter values. I add a bit of violet to this section as well. The back and forth tennis match of adding color continues with the cooler half of the diptych. This is the process for this piece. Apply paint in a parallel manner between the two halves. I then carefully remove the mask. Time to make some abstract mountain shapes. I apply some paint, then drag it with cardboard to create some texture. I'm using reddish tones for the half with the blue sky and vice versa for the other half. Occasionally, I mix in some lighter tones for highlights and contrast. Let's repeat this with blue hues for the other half of the piece. It's time to create the darkest portion of the piece, some sort of shadows of the mountains we just created. I maintain the color scheme, but go a bit darker on each half of the piece. I use thicker paint here and promptly remove the tape to ensure crisp lines. I repeat this with red hues for the other part of the diptych. I 
I then mask off a circular area and begin adding thicker paint. This will somewhat resemble a setting sun for both parts of the painting. It won't be perfectly circular, but that's okay. I want the paint to bleed into the background as a sort of blurring light effect. It's time to really push our sunset. I use thicker paint here and manipulate it around the masking tape, trying to solidify the edge of this section. I blow the paint around for quite a bit to create organic celestial shapes. I also add in some darker hues for contrast and color saturation. I repeat this for the other half. I add a bit more color in the mountain areas to solidify the edges and add some depth to the paint. Then I repeat with the other half of the painting. Now it's time to add a watery lake section. I first lay down some thick color to create a solid crisp edge for both halves. Then, using a flat brush and a smooth, relaxed, figure eight type motion, I add in some waves. Smaller, flatter shapes in the distance turn into larger, more aggressive waves as I move downward towards the foreground. I try to mirror the light of the sunset in the top half of the piece. I also work dark to light here and once complete, I sign the painting. Here's the final result. What are your thoughts? Do you like my use of symmetry and color? Please let me know in the comments. This piece and prints of this piece can be found at robsmentalplayground.com. Thank you for stopping by today and please be kind to each other.